it's my fellas, dude. This is so this is so rad. Like I, I'm in studio by myself, social distance because that's just the way that life is now. But to see the five of you together on uh, such a, a dope day, my guys from Why Don't We connecting via Zoom. Um, you guys are in LA right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're at our. Yo. We're at this our is, uh, rehearsal place. You know, this, this is so. It's just so sick that we still get the chance to tap in and see that the fans have just really full force come, come together to show you all the love with this record that you deserve, man. So let's just start with how the hell does it feel to have fallen out there? Dude, it, I mean, we've dreamed of this moment for more than even the eight, nine months that we were on break because we <laughs> always talked about writing and producing our own music. And this was the first song that we actually did that on. And for the, and fallen has been number one on iTunes for the last two days. Yeah. It's been, Watch crazy the music crazy. video too and yeah man like it, it literally is a dream come true as it should be dude i mean the fact that you guys were able to put your blood sweat and tears into it and to uh really kind of just begin to find your sound even more i mean it's not like that wasn't something that we already had before but just um i, I said this to the other guys uh, just the other day you weren't present for this act but the fact that you guys are leveling up man how how does it feel to know that you guys have reached this milestone it's, this is something we've talked about forever. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, Late night talks, like, yeah. just always. And, and it, this is what we wanted, where we wanted yeah. to be, so we couldn't be more excited. And yeah. I think it's great because it, it's even better because the song Fallen, we feel, is, is one of the best songs that we've ever made. And so mm. just for our confidence and, and for our, you know, own validation as artists, it, it's been very, very <coughs> cool to see you know, the response, considering this is the first time we've really put ourselves out there fully, like, yeah. this is ours. And yeah. uh, and more than ever, it seems like every radio station is picking up on it, and the YouTube views are taking oh, yeah. it. But it, it's just, it's been quite a wild ride, and we're just, we're just living life right now. It feels good. Now, let's talk about what life has been like for you guys uh, during this time. And I don't even want to say off, because a lot of people think that just because uh, you took some time to, you know, to, to do you, that that meant that the work stopped. Um, you know, so what were these months like where you were able to learn more about yourselves, uh, still have those conversations to uh, grow families, to, you know, be with the ones that you love, but still just really know in the back of your mind what was going to come, you know, yeah. those couple of months forward? Like, what's it been like? Yeah, it was it was super meaningful. I think we all, you know, for the first time in our career since we started the band, had the time to really take a step back and, and hang with our families more and, and think about big picture stuff. Like, what do we want our message to be? And what who, who do we want to be as people? And what do we want to sound like? And, and we really put a lot of that energy into this new music. And uh, it, it feels good to come back. And, and I feel like just as an artist, like those those questions are so important to be able to have. And we, you know, we, we were on tour for three years straight before this. So it was, it was really, really important. What were, uh, let's, let's go around the room, man. What were some of your favorite moments, um, you know, stepping away from the spotlight, still grinding, but, you know, what were some of those things that you really appreciated uh, most about being able to have a, a little bit of downtime and to self-reflect. I'm going to go with you first, Daniel. How'd you feel, bro? What was one of those things that you uh, loved most? You know, honestly, the first few months of uh, being off social media and not being on tour, they were a bit tough because, yeah. you know, you go from this high on life of, one, we were doing what we love and we felt like we were just doing such good in the world doing it. You know, there it, it's... Yeah. There is literally no crazier feeling than being on stage in front of fans that like, you know, came to see you. It's, it's, it's a crazy feeling and it's like a high. And so, you know, the come down was pretty crazy because, you know, you went straight from that to quarantine on yeah. top of normal life, you know? And um, it, yeah, I mean, it, it was a bit tough at first, but the one silver lining for me of it, besides the album and falling coming out of it and all was, just um, kind of regrouping my own uh, intentions and thoughts and, you know, even relationships. I, I, I think about, you know, how much closer I got to family and friends just being back home and remembering the importance of letting people, you know, yeah. um, and, and want to be close to that you love them and reaching out and just like remembering, you know, probably the, the more 
uh, important things past just your career, you know? So that was really sure. Same thing for you, Jack. Like, what was one of the most special things, uh, you know, your time with family and friends uh, when you able you, you were able to just really hunker down and, and be with those that you love most? Uh, honestly, it was cool because with my family, we started doing like a like a movie night, game night. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it was really fun because I literally haven't done that since I was like a kid. So I was yeah. like, I mean, I'm still a kid, but like... <laughs> But, like, it felt cool, you know, sit down and, like, play some cards with my family or just, like, watch a movie and just, yeah. just yeah. chill. Like, cause it, it's your turn, same. Zach. What about you, bro? Uh, yeah, man, just kind of being able to be in your own thoughts for a bit and to be with those folks that meant the most to you. What was it like, dude? What they said, I mean, it was it was amazing, but the, the change was drastic. It was, you know, it, it was so sudden. I didn't really expect it to happen. Um, but I really, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed getting to spend quality time with my family, quality time with them, sit in a room together and just not worry about the time. You know, we have time now, so let's, let's yeah. make the best time we can make. And we got to really, really do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Piggybacking on that same thing, Corbin, like for you, bro, I mean, did you, did you find yourself, uh, you know, being able to really make sure that you told those folks that were around you, you know, those things that you really felt that maybe it, it was able to, you know, feel a little bit more uh, powerful in person instead of on a FaceTime or a text message, you know what I mean, while you guys were on the road in uh, Kuala Lumpur or some crazy place like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, for sure. Um, and, and my family just moved out here to L.A. Uh, at the end of last year. Um, and so we were still touring, uh, when they moved out here. Um, and so, you know, this time around it was, it was great, you know, to get, to have my mom cook us dinner sometimes and, and, uh, just go hang out and me and my brother and my sister have gotten closer. Um, and so it was, it was good, man. Just much needed mental time. And I want to ask you, uh, Jonah, what's it like to be a, a, a fur dad now, man? I mean, like, yeah, there's a new addition to the family. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I got a little kitty, and his name's Wes, and he's like, my the best. he's he's amazing. I uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, he is the best. Wes is the best. And those are those are things that you know um, that I'm sure that each of you wanted to do, and and you know, and having a fur baby and doing you know having pets. I mean, but you never could really when you were hopping around the globe. So um, you know, being able to have those moments of just normalcy, even though we are in the most abnormal of times. Um, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm understanding that that probably came through a lot in this album and in the music, you know, what was it like to pull on some new experiences and create from, from those viewpoints? Yeah, no, the time was much needed. I think it was, it was good. It was a little bit too much though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too much time. Yeah, it, it was a long but, time, but yeah. definitely a lot of inspiration came out of quarantine and just all the, all the, you know, time we had to think about the three years of touring and think about our relationships that we're trying to mend or make better and you know it was just uh yeah there's so much more to write about sitting home oh, yeah. in your house for way too long yeah <laughs> when we were writing on tour it was just like maybe an hour after the show we'd have before we were so tired that we just pass out so <laughs> So now when we think about the enormous amount of songs that were being created and as we, you know, really focus on this album and have to weed them down and to be so proud, I'm sure, of each and every one of them. But I mean, maybe there are some that were just complete crap. Let's keep it honest. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, yeah, this isn't going to make it. make the crap ones to make the good ones. Yeah. That, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. To be able to even just experiment and to pick up the instruments and actually have them in hand. And as we all know, as all of us fans know, that that was so important to you all. Um, you know, was there a learning curve? You know what I'm saying? Like, were there times where you were just like, I suck at the drums right now? Like, what was it, you know, like to really kind of get a hold of that part of the, the music creation and to really have those instruments in hand? I, I would honestly, I would say for us, there wasn't much of a learning curve because this is what we've always done. Even, even in, I mean, we played instruments since we were kids. Yep. Um, and, you know, we've always been writing music, but I think what, was really challenging was finding the validation and the confidence to trust our own gut and instinct with our music. Word. Because pop music is so damn competitive and it's, uh, there's this bar set that's just so high. And um, I feel like, you know, when you're in this industry more than ever too, you feel this pressure of um, needing to meet that bar. And you almost, there's almost this facade that like, you can't do it on your own. 
mm-hmm. and that need help from the industry. And, you know, we really backed up one day and, and listened to our own music and we're like, listen, music is music and this is good music too. And yeah. it shouldn't really be more overthought than that at the end of the day. Now, if you listen to a song and you go, damn, that wasn't good, you probably shouldn't come out. And, <laughs> you know, it does take hard work. But yeah. at the end of the day, the music that's on this album, including Falling, we we just knew was really great music. Dude, I'm, I'm so stoked. Um, I, I know that you guys were, and it's been shown through the social media, um, you know, love, and even the way that you guys have been expressing yourselves just the other day. The freaking video is on on a 90-something foot-tall jumbotron in Times Square. Like, God, man, when those things hit your radar, um, I've, asked, I've asked this question a couple of times to some other artists. I don't know if I've asked you guys. I know I just recently, uh, Humble Brag, had the chance to talk to Sean Mendez and was like, yo, dude, um, <laughs> do you take the time to pat yourself on the back and understand that you're moving in the right direction? Do you guys take those moments to really be proud of yourself? Because what you are accomplishing is pretty spectacular. For me, Thanks, sometimes man. I actually have to take a step back and really look look at it like yeah. that because I mean right for us we're living in it so it's yeah. hard to kind of look at it from an outsider's perspective yeah. but at the same time this is what we've always wanted to do so it's like I mean I just have to take good. a step I have to be like dang we're Damn. actually here you know, yeah. behind all the work it's it's a lot of work at the same time so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we always set goals as a man and it's usually I think when yeah. you hit those goals that it really sends you know shivers down your spine of like what in the hell is going on like yeah <laughs> when we came to madison square garden we were all in the back in a little huddle about to cry together <laughs> like we've talked about this moment yeah. and you know like right now i think a big goal for us is to hit a billboard number one with fall and and you know we're crossing our fingers that it happens but that's a good example of like a goal that we would set and if we get there it's going to be a crazy moment yeah dude so sick Oh, just to hear you guys say that is so rad. Uh, I want to focus a little bit here on the video, man. And uh, I got to ask you, dude, uh, you know, Jack, what was it like to kind of be on set, to see the bros again, to create this visual that, um, you know, that, that just, it, it pops, dude. It jumps off the, f- I don't know if I'm allowed to curse, but it jumps off the fucking screen. Like, I'm telling you, man. Like, so for you, what was it like, man, to be kind of there on set and to, to have this all come together? It was honestly so cool. I wasn't expecting it to be as fun as it was. Um, just because, you know, music videos, like, in the past have been, like, very, like, drawn out. And you're just, yeah. like, tired. Of it's work. All yeah. day, every day that we did the music video, I was just, like, having so much fun. And, like, like the performance scene we did, we literally did that for, what, was it, like, three hours straight or something? <laughs> Like performing the song over and over and over again, but it was so fun each time. Cause you're in the water, just like splashing each other. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I will say it was. You, awesome. you know what? Actually, that's. I'm glad that you said that because I was gonna. I was gonna ask you. Uh, recently, I saw, and this is gonna lead me to something else. Um, the photos that you guys took. Uh, shout out to to uh, Zach Casperi, uh, obviously the dopest dude. But you guys actually had the chance to like legit let loose and splash and kick all that water in his face what did that feel like that moment there um <laughs> to just be like dude you're about to get it <laughs> it, was, it was amazing but uh my saint laurent boots got messed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but you don't see that side of me <laughs> <laughs> you know and, and here's where i said i wanted to lead this to is is corbin you had your phone there or maybe which one of you guys here who which one do you guys think that you can get zach on facetime fastest like will he re- reply to your facetime call uh, zach does not answer anybody <laughs> Are you, you're talking about zach caspery yeah zach caspery yeah he's right um, here oh here. come around the, come into the screen dude i was yo zach come on yeah caspery there he is we got to give this guy the love he deserves iHeartRadio music award winner for photographer <laughs> of the year this is what it is <laughs> oh, man. oh my god Congratulations, man. Um, I want to give you the chance right here, man, with your brothers here. What is it like to be a part of this journey and to um, to bring to life what it is that they do so well, but you're you're a part of the family? Like, how did it feel to get the accomplishment that you deserved also? Um, 
incredible incredible unfortunately we're all in quarantine so i wasn't able to be like with them uh in the dynamic that i would have liked to have been um receiving that but they all facetimed me they all called me the second it came out so yeah I, I mean i told you bro that i need to make sure that i can't hand you the award like we normally do i don't have anything around here but it, <laughs> proverbial there you go dog congratulations fam oh thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> it's, funny, beautiful, it's heavier than I expected. Um, it's, uh, it's going, I know exactly where this is going. <laughs> there it is, man. One more round of applause for Zach, man. Dude, congratulations, fam. Um, <laughs> that's so dope. Dude, um, I got a couple more before we get you out of here because uh, this is just such a special thing to see. And I've mentioned this to you all several times, man. Guys that I get to call my friends thrive and succeed and to really tap into um, who they are. And it's really special. And, and, you know, before I get you out here, I first off want to say thank you for allowing me to be a part of this journey with you guys and allowing um, all of us as fans of your music to really be there and be that support that you may need and, um, you know, and for you to be that for us. But also, I got to say, making this video, it just came to life. You got you got CV, you know, shirtless. Come on, man. You know, thirst trapping all throughout the, the video, man. Uh, <laughs> looks like you guys are in the gym working your asses off. I mean, it just feels like everything is so right. So, oh, and even I wanted to mention this. Uh, I don't know if this was intentional, but the, the, the little what I caught from it, the ode to Queen with the Bohemian Rhapsody with the photo shoot, like. Very intentional. We, yeah. uh, we actually, uh, me and Jonah wrote like a couple songs after watching Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie, because we were just like, damn, Queen is so dope. I feel like ever since we watched that movie, uh, we've become bigger and bigger Queen fans because, you know, they were before our time. Yeah. Uh, necessarily get it at one point in my life, but I just became a huge Queen fan. Movie. We all did. Um, and so, yeah, that part was definitely, even just in the song, kind of an ode to Queen and a, you know, a little tribute to them. And so the video had to go along with it. Dude, just to, just to see it all come together, to see you guys uh, grow into your own, to see you guys uh, become the young adults that are, you know, leaving such um, an amazing mark on not only the industry, but just on, um, you know what I'm saying, the world. It's, it's pretty, I'll say it again, dude, I'm gonna drop a heavy F-bomb. It's pretty fucking rad. I mean. <laughs> that means a lot. Uh, thanks so much, bro. No, nah, it has to be said. So continue to stay safe. Cannot wait for the full-on album. Fallen is a banger. We got it slapping through the speakers here at Z100 and all over uh, Most Requested Live. So you guys all deserve it to each and every one of you, to your family members, uh, you know what I mean, to those who are here with us and, and beyond. We are extremely uh, thankful that you have each been a part of our lives. And, and I hope you guys send the same type of uh, vibes to your families from me as well. All right? Hey, yeah. thanks so much, man. And, and shout you, out y'all at Z100 because y'all have been really big supporters and, always, and have really, always. really pushed for us all the time. And uh, it doesn't go unnoticed, and we love y'all for it. And we miss New York, man. We miss y'all up there. It's going to happen. We're going to get together. 2021 is going to be a movie. That's all I'm going to say, man. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, hey. Let's go. <laughs> right on. And you guys have created the perfect song for the fucking soundtrack. One more F-bomb. That's it. I'm yeah, done. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fallen is the track. It's why don't we enjoy it, guys. Take care. We'll talk soon, all right? Hey, we'll see you, Max.